Hello, welcome to another Wallace Collection intro. Uh, today, I'm going to talk to you about Keston, which is a Scottish brand founded by Keston Hare. He is a pretty well-known guy in the menswear community, specifically in the UK. Uh, so he worked with Nigel Caborn, who is a legend in our, in our game. Um, and so he has a bit of a military workwear sort of archival menswear approach where he uh, looks at old silhouettes that have worked in the past and then he'll update them with new fabrics. And that's kind of the main, I guess, sort of process that most of the clothes are made. Um, and it just results in some beautiful stuff. And so today for Spring Summer 21, uh, this collection is called High Sunderland and it's based off of a house that's called High Sunderland in uh, somewhere in Scotland. I don't know where exactly. You can look that up. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so this house belonged to a guy called Berton Klein, who was a famous textile designer. Fun fact, he was actually a spy for the British, um, I guess like central intelligence, whatever, I guess MI6 probably. Um, Anyways, he ended up becoming a famous textile designer and artist. And he was part of, I guess, a wave of people who put uh, British and specifically Scottish art and fashion into, I guess, the wider um, kind of European spotlight. So uh, let's get started. Yeah, I'll also just quickly describe sort of the color palette. So High Sunderland is a very modernist sort of boxy building with lots of uh, large windows and it is in uh, it's on an estate in Scotland that's kind of hidden in the trees and the actual building itself is has quite a lot of sort of soft colors so there's a mix of earth tones kind of browns greens and then uh, sort of softer pastel colors like soft pink and mint and aqua and so this color scheme is what has sort of determined the color scheme of the Spring Summer 21 collection in Keston. So I'll start with the most wintry piece we have. This is called the Fall of Vest. And actually come in, come in here a little bit closer. You can see uh, this sort of speckled cotton canvas. So this is, this specific pattern is inspired by Bertong Klein's, uh, I think more his like painting. Um, he was, did quite a lot of abstract painting. And this fabric is made, with Hall uh, made by Hallie Stevenson's, which is a really famous Scottish fabric mill. And this fabric was made specifically for this collection. Uh, so this is an insulated vest. You got the classic, just two patch pockets. And it's fully reversible. Let me just, there we go. Flip them inside out. And so on the other side, you have this sort of soft kind of sand color. You can actually see the padding. Uh, it's a synthetic fill, so it's not down, but it's very warm and quite, quite puffy. Um, super nice piece if you want something. This, is kind of, this could like substitute for a jacket in late winter, I would say, or early spring. Um, and we'll move kind of more into the transitional stuff. So first, this is the Neist Overshirt. This is a really classic workwear overshirt that Keston makes every season. So this version is made out of a cotton corduroy, a nice navy blue color, um, and the, it's the same, the same every season. So the classic features are, you got three patch pockets, so two sort of lower um, hand pockets, one chest pocket. You've got this, uh, I guess, kind of, uh, sort of like piped outer, outer hem um, that runs from the collar all the way down um, and all around the back of the jacket. It's unlined, pretty light, kind of moderate weight. It can either be a nice, um, oh, we got someone coming in here. Yo, oh, there he is. <laughs> Are we good? Yeah. All right, we're back. Great mid-layer. Um, you can wear this as a, like over a t-shirt in winter and then under a winter jacket. Or once it comes down to spring, this is probably good enough for an actual jacket or during the summer, keep it in your backpack when you're walking around on like a hot summer day. Super nice when, once it gets cooler in the evening. Uh, so, similar to the Neist, but a little different. 
This is the Armadale shirt jacket. So this is another workwear inspired mid-layer. Uh, you've got a boxy body, these big old chore pockets that are a little bit more hidden. So they're not, this, they're not the sort of patch style pocket that the niece has. Uh, drawstring hem, so you can adjust the tightness around the bottom. That's nice if it gets kind of cold and you want to like insulate yourself a little more. Uh, this has a collar, whereas the niece was collarless. Uh, and other than that, it's pretty, pretty similar. You've got sort of a shirt uh, cuff. Um, and this is a, this colorway is called Dusty Pink. And then here's another colorway. This is called Mint. It's very, very soft, sort of a soft green blue. Both really, really lovely, almost kind of floral colors, but they're very soft and pastel-y. So these are two colorways that are very much inspired by Berton Klein's house and the art that is in his house. They have a really nice, uh, a couple nice posts on the Keston website uh, that kind of explains the house and has some great pictures. So I recommend looking at that if you're interested. This is the Aberlour Carpenter pant. Uh, we had this pant in a couple colors last season, so this is our second season carrying this model. It's a straight leg sort of workwear pant based on carpenter pants. So you've got one small little side kind of tool pocket here, which is nice, I mean, if you carry like pencils or something, or any kind of like small little device that can fit in there. One back pocket, two side pockets that are just hidden in the seam here. Uh, elasticated panels on the side, so you get, it, it's nice because you can, I would recommend sizing down on this pant because if you're like a 30, if you're, if you're like a th size 31, I would recommend buying the 30 because then you can get the tight fit and then the elasticated panels will cover the rest. Whereas if you got a 32, you might have a little more excess fabric. Uh, so this is, yeah, light, off-white, cotton cord, just a really classic kind of breezy pant. Uh, another nice one. This is the Kelso pants. So this, this one is actually much lighter than the Aberlour cotton pant. This one I see, say is probably pretty ideal for spring. This is almost like a summer pant. So it has sort of a, this fabric is very interesting. It's a, I believe it's a cotton nylon blend. It's woven super tightly. So it has this kind of crinkly texture to it, almost like papery. Super light, it's water repellent. So that's uh, really nice for peace of mind if you live in a, a rainy place. Um, what else? Yeah, drawstring waist, straight leg. Pretty simple, straightforward pant, really nice. If you've never worn Keston pants, they fit super great. They also usually have a bit of a lower uh, crotch, which is nice, it makes it a lot more comfortable. All right, so moving into more straight up summer stuff. So this is what I'm wearing right now. This is the Buckthorn shirt. So it's kind of a mix between a uh, short sleeve summer sh button up and a polo shirt. So the fabric is a uh, Portuguese seersucker. So it's 100% cotton. And seersucker is this sort of, uh, yeah, this kind of like puckered fabric. It gets this very interesting crinkly texture to it. But what this means is that it doesn't stick to your body. It kind of floats when it lies on top of your skin. And so you get really nice airflow. Uh, it's super breezy, lightweight. This is, oh, maybe we'll. <laughs> All right, we're back. Yeah, so very light. I mean, I feel very well ventilated right now. I would recommend. Um, super comfortable, super lightweight, really nice navy uh, and cream color. So you got some nice little stripes here. Yeah, just an excellent summer shirt. On the t-shirt front, this is the fly tee. So we got it in white, and we have it in the same sort of dusty pink colorway that the Armadale comes in. Yep, it's a t-shirt, pretty, pretty straightforward. Uh, it has a slightly oversized, relaxed fit. So if you usually wear a medium and you get a medium, it's gonna have kind of like a nice slouchy, drapey feel to it. This is also a Portuguese cotton. It's super soft, uh, very breathable, but also feels pretty sturdy, but it's not heavy at all. 
you've got pretty, you can see like the sleeves are fairly wide, so that kind of keeps it a little more breezy, keeps it a little bit, um, I guess, more slouchy and uh, has a bit more of a relaxed fit. Not much else to say, it's a really good t-shirt. So this is the Inverness short. So Keston has a pant called the Inverness pant, which they've had for many seasons and it's a classic. This is the shorts version of it. Similar to the Kelso pant, so this is actually almost like a short version of this pant. So same fabric, that same crinkly cotton nylon water repellent fabric. Very lightweight. Uh, they kind of hit mid thigh, mid length, a bit of a dropped crotch makes it more comfortable. And yeah, also not much more to this. Drawstring waist. I have a pair of these from last spring and they are my favorite shorts in the world. I cannot recommend these shorts enough. They fit perfectly. They're incredibly good quality. I've wore my pair every single day and it looks exactly like brand new. So that's my testimonial. And this is the same short, but in that same cotton seersucker that this shirt is made in. Just a different color. So it's like a dark tan colorway. So these are so, so lightweight. Like almost, uh, almost like feel like nothing. I bet if you, if you were wearing these, it'd probably just be like, you're wearing no pants. It's super comfortable. Drawstring waist, breathable seersucker. Uh, yeah, perfect fit. You can't lose. Um, yeah, that about, that about does it. So this is Keston Spring Summer 21. Uh, it's available in store. Probably by the time this video is up, it'll be online as well. If you want to learn more about Keston, super interesting guy, really great brand. I did an interview with him that's on our blog. So it's called uh, In Conversation with Keston Hare. Would recommend it. Some pretty good, pretty good journalism. Um, yeah. <laughs> See you later. Bye. <laughs>